In the former Soviet Union, you had to ask permission of the local council if you wanted to leave your town or your village and go to visit a neighbouring town or village, even if it was to see a member of your family. And when you were there, you had to register with the place you were visiting to say that you were there and staying overnight. No one would ever have thought when the Berlin Wall came down that we would see these kind of things being implemented in the Western world or start to be implemented. But that's what's happening now. You probably all heard of the scheme to introduce 15 minute neighbourhoods in Oxford and Canterbury, where people will need permission from their local council to drive a car from one part of the city to the other part of the city. And in Oxford, they want to bring that in as soon as this year on a trial basis. But then, of course, it will expand to become permanent and then it will expand probably, uh, and I've heard privately, to include not just vehicles, but pedestrians as well. So that if there is another pandemic, then the councils can contain people in their zones for your health and safety. Now, the people at large and the vast majority of people don't want this, but many people don't even realise it's happening. I know there's been protests and I know there's been people writing to MPs about this, but we need to take action politically. So I would urge you and encourage you to come and join me in the Heritage Party and stands to be a councillor in your local elections on the 4th of May, because this is all being implemented at a local level. And if you don't get involved, you're just going to continue to have Tory, Labour, Lib Dem, Green, who are all allegiant to Agenda 2030. The Heritage Party is specifically against Agenda 2030. We will stop these 15-minute neighbourhoods and maintain our freedom.